Morning. Uh, I know we've had a lot of bad news over the last 24 hours, but uh, I'm happy to report that we had the best news that anybody could uh, want. We have found JJ. He seems to be fine. I actually, yeah. Here's actually a picture of him behind me with one of the rescuers. He seems to be doing fine. Uh, paramedics, uh, literally it was just a couple minutes ago, paramedics are uh, en route to uh, check him out. But uh, I will tell you that uh, I uh, was hoping and praying for a miracle. I certainly was not expecting one. But um, I think a lot of people were praying, and prayer works. That's all I got to say. So thank you all for coming out and helping. And for our media partners, uh, thank you all for getting the word out. Uh, we certainly had no clue what happened to him. He was found uh, uh, north of the residence, uh, just south of Parrot Middle School. So he was quite a ways away from home. But uh, the good news is he, he did not end up in any water, obviously, and he was not abducted. He was found in the woods. He seems to be fine. Uh, He's definitely going to have something to tell his kids and grandkids about, that's for sure. But, but, um, and uh, I'm sure mom and dad are going to keep a little closer eye on him from this point forward. But uh, again, thank you all very much, and it's uh, it's a it's a miracle. There's no doubt about it. So thank you, Sheriff. Who did find him? Uh, that I'm not even sure about. I know there's a picture of a gentleman there. I'm not sure if it was one of our law enforcement uh, people or one of our uh, volunteers. I don't even know that yet. We wanted to get the information out there as quickly as we could. So what's his condition right now? Uh, again, I'm not sure but it looks from the picture that he's smiling so he must be doing fairly well so Sheriff, talk to us a little bit about this community that we saw come out yeah. here today. Uh, we, we live in a great county. Hernando County is great. It supports our law enforcement. And uh, we were overwhelmed. Uh, we certainly had a lot more volunteers than we had jobs for them. And we had people that uh, were willing to come out and help. And uh, it certainly uh, warms your heart. Uh, that's another part of this story. A secondary part of the story is that uh, the vast majority of citizens are good people, law-abiding citizens who want uh, to do anything to get a two-year-old back to his parents. So, so. all right. Any other questions? Uh, we'll get more information out as soon as we can, but we certainly wanted to update uh, the public uh, as well as all of our volunteers uh, that they can stand down. And uh, JJ appears to be fine, and we'll be re reuniting him with his parents uh, very shortly. So thank you all for coming out. Sheriff, thank you so much. Again, you just heard from the Hernando County Sheriff, the outcome that everybody was hoping, hundreds of volunteers that showed up here today. JJ has been found safe, that two-year-old that the mother says wandered away from his home here in Brooksville while she was sleeping just yesterday. Extensive search efforts underway since that point. He has been found safe. They say it doesn't appear that he has any serious injuries. They say he was actually quite a ways away from his home. They're going to take him to the hospital. They're going to have him checked out just to make every Sure, everything is okay, but the sheriff thanking this community for the turnout. The parents saying this is the biggest relief. So we're going to stay here, talk with the sheriff a little more, talk with some of these volunteers, but just the outcome everyone was hoping for.